Hello neighbor, welcome to the weekend, yet it's still early, that's why I'm kind of being quiet because Laura's asleep, but I'm starting my day like I do every day, two chapters of the Bible, because if I want to be the light, this is my source. So I'm finishing up and then we're going to get started. Welcome to Calvert Fire Department where Lara and I volunteer along with a bunch of other amazing people. Today we've got the fundraiser, the Cornhole Tournament. You can see behind us, Cornhole is where you toss a little bean bag and try to land it inside one of the holes on the board. Uh, first responder tournament will be at the end of the day. First place, second place, a little bit third place, but you get some. Uh, pros, which the, is a really competitive bracket. Singles gets belt. Doubles gets two championship belts. So, see how it goes out today. Which one are you gonna win? Uh, the one right below this one. <laughs> I bet you went higher than that. Uh, guys, I saw this fire safety video that said you're not supposed to have your grill uh, close to structures. It's so, okay, we're firemen. Oh. We get to break the rules or something like that. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna play some zombies on Black Ops. Black oh, that sounds too. great. Welcome to the second story of Calvert Fire Department, where we've got relaxation and entertainment starring Arturo. This is Rusty's eldest son here. I'm not sure what he's doing, but... Try, try. Do the floss. Yeah, he's gonna floss for us there. I hate the floss. I okay, don't, don't, don't do it then, yeah. Uh, Carrie, what are you doing? Playing Minecraft today. No, on your little tablet there. Yes. Look, your brother's over here about to play zombies, and, and you're hanging out on your tablet. Yes. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take this opportunity to get swole here. I'm gonna lift these. Uh, I need some help. Guys, uh, help me. Uh, help lift this thing up for me. I'm stuck. Uh, wait, now I'm really stuck. I can't get this down now. Help. Help, guys. I know he's a funny person. It is the safest uh, combustible gas there is. Is it? I don't believe you. I think that's just marketing. It, it's got a very uh, specific flammability rating. I think this is all propaganda put out by the propane companies to get you to buy propane, saying it's safe. The ignition temperature on gasoline is way lower than propane. All right, you heard it from the experts there. Yes. What is your job today, Miss Julie? Registration and How, selling food. Yeah, what kind of food can you buy here? We've got burgers, hot dogs, drinks, we've got chips, and Rice Krispie treats. My question is how much do you have? Because I'm like super hungry right now. We have plenty. Cheesy. All right. We have plenty. You're cheesy, guy. You're cheesy. All right, so you're Julie's sister. And I've heard that you're thinking about joining the Corps at Texas A&M. Yep. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, I wanted to go into the military so that way I could get my medical degree. But I also don't know whether I want to go to Baylor or AM. <laughs> Let me think about that one, huh? Uh, you got Baylor and, you know, Rusty in there. Woo, bears. <laughs> cool. Or you've got the world famous Corps of Cadets at Texas AM. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if there's a comparison. You don't think there's a comparison? No. But, but, yeah. Baylor has a better medical school. Okay, okay. Um, well, I don't have evidence to support that either way. <laughs> and I will say that my brother went to Baylor and he's an amazing person and um, I'm, I'm certain it's a good school. Oh, no. Guys, uh, yeah. why, should I, why should anyone go to Baylor? There, Rusty. Oh, well, it's a fine school full of fine people in a fine city. Yeah. With a fine football team. Yeah. And their mascot is a bear. That's pretty strong, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we've had our problems and our troubles in the, in the past with the football team, but we're on that rebuilding, and uh, I'd say within the next three years, we should be back in that run for the national title. Okay. Well, you're probably going to have to compete with us Aggies because Jimbo is going to take us to the promised land. All right? Hey, no. Props to the Aggies. Okay. Props to the Aggies. Okay. But uh, I don't know that they're necessarily. Uh, I think they're punching above their weight class right now. Okay. Well, listen, I'm going to choose because I'm a bigger man to walk away before this debate gets escalated. All right? So, my final question to you is if you had to make a decision today, right now, whether to go to Texas AM or Baylor, what would you choose? Baylor. 
<laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello. How's it going back here? It's going really great. We're selling things like Cheetos and these fine chips right here. Yeah. Hey, and I've decided I really want a cornhole game for my yard. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Let's get a cornhole game. What are you going to put on it? Uh, Aggie stuff. Oh, yeah. Hello, we're definitely not going to put <laughs> Baylor stuff on it. I can tell you that. I'm outnumbered in my house. This guy's intimidating, so I think, you know, I'm just, oh. we're going to, I was going to pan down to his checkbook, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that. We can't put that on the YouTube's machine. You can sign up as a team, right, and you compete together. So you guys are a team. Yes, we are a team. Because everything is part of fighting. It's teamwork. We've been on the same team since 2005. Yep. And what's your, water. what's your win streak like? Zero. <laughs> Rusty was saying that you're no good at, at uh, cornhole. Let's find out. <laughs> nice. I am taking this opportunity to put my GoPro back on my fire helmet because it's charged now. And I once again missed a big old house fire that I was interior in because it was charging. Um, and I know it's not the best place for it up on top of the helmet, but it's what I got right now. So next time, I'm ready to go. What's up, man? What's up? Long time no see, bro. I know. Hey, how's life? It's amazing, sir. I've Just missed you. I have missed you too, sir. Listen, I apologize. I've been, you know, real busy and and, and I haven't got to see you like I like to. There's no excuse, sir. No excuse. I agree. But it's okay. You know what? I'm just happy I, just, I get to see this beautiful smile. I can care. Are you playing any uh, of the old beanbag toss machine there? No, sir. I am not. I uh, just got here a little while ago. I've been yeah. going on a clinical shift. So I tried to sleep most of the day, but they didn't work. Yeah. Um, and so now I'm here. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. The tournament can start now. Billy's here. Yeah. All right, we're taking a break from the cornhole tournament here to check out the score between A&M and South Carolina, and we've got it all lined up here. Oh, man. Is your belt on operative IQ or what? Hey, get out of there with that bear stuff, guy. <laughs> it is thunderstorming and dumping rain like crazy here in Calvert. We finished up our cornhole tournament. We're back home, and you can see it's lightning, thunder, storming, crazy. One of the things we have to deal with with this older house is all the water backs up around the house. And it's like, you don't really want to worry about it, but it keeps backing up like all over the place. So all of that is completely flooded. Last year it was flooding and Andy actually had to bust out the sidewalk yeah. to uh, keep the water from pooling. And we actually have a, a drain system that keeps it flowing in the right direction but still it, it's worrisome to watch it yeah so last year all the rain backed up all the way up to here around the house and so i broke out the cement thing and we put a pipe in there to let it drain but every time it downpours like this it's just really concerning because it doesn't drain very well around our house you can see this is up against the house it's all water <laughs> pretty close to the house now and it goes all the way out there we have a huge drain that goes underneath the driveway. It's already filled and backed up. But we did make it through Hurricane Harvey uh, last year. So we should be fine. You just never know. And it continues to downpour. And we have made it successfully and safely through the night. It's dry here at our home. And yet there's more to be done. Let me show you. So what I'm doing this morning is working on my domestic terrorism midterm essay exam, which is only three questions. But the problem is each question is like a research essay and it's difficult, but yet extremely exciting because it's about the anarchist movement uh, at the turn of the 20th century. And it's so fascinating. So I'm digging in this morning. I'm trying to get it knocked out because I got other things to do today. Babe, how are you doing today? Good. Good morning. This is not for me. It's for you. You're such a nice lady. I love you. I know. 
If you can put it down right here, please, on my it. Texas A&M. Yes, right there, right there. Cup right holder there. thingy. <laughs> You're the best, babe. Yeah, I know. And the anarchists were very, very, very bad. Welcome to Bomber Stadium in Bryan, Texas, where the core baseball team, which I'm a member of, is preparing to take on the Texas A&M club team. The weather is holding off here today, and we're gonna see how we can do. This is the very first official scrimmage of the year. Hey, how long has it been since you played there, Mr. Owen? It's been about 10 years. About half the time it's been since you've stepped out of that. <laughs> what position did you play? Left out. <laughs> That's cool, because I was a scorekeeper and official water boy. Yes. It's been a couple years since you've thrown the rock. How does it feel? It's good. You're doing most of the time I throw sidearm, so. Yeah, you have a really cool sidearm pitch. Yeah. Look forward to seeing it today. Yeah. Emery, you catching today? I am. How's that feel? Uh, feels good. Good back in it. Yeah, how long you been out? I've been out since May. Oh, so you, you played in high school. That's right, you I just did. graduated. Nice, so you're up and running pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Let's do it. Yeah, what high school did you play for? I played for Cornerstone Christian. Okay, uh, when was that? Uh, I graduated 2017. So you're a sophomore this year? Yes, yep. Nice. How's it feel to be in the court and playing baseball for AM? It's pretty, pretty fun. It's a fun time. Sweet. Hey. My junior and senior year in college, which was 1997 98, you sat in the stands. <laughs> My senior year, we were married. Yeah. It's been 20 years. How's it feel to be in the stands again? It feels like old time. Yeah. 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 Now, did you seriously ever imagine that you'd be in the stands watching me play baseball ever again? No, I thought that ship had sailed long, long ago. So it's pretty cool to be here. Yes, and yet here we are for some reason. <laughs> yeah. All the way back, there's gotta be some purpose in it, right? Yeah, absolutely there's purpose in it. And you're gonna like pitch better than ever. <laughs> okay. Wait, are you saying I didn't pitch well before? No, you pitched well, but now you're gonna pitch best. I love you. <laughs> Well, all right, we've got Brent Owen, the commanding officer of V1, up the plate. Let's see what happens. There we, there we go. Nice hit, Brent. Out a rip. Oh, oh my. Woo! Hey, you better get down. All right, come up for the score. Dude, nice rip. I guess you're not so old. I feel old. Down here in the bullpen, going in uh, this inning coming up here. I gotta say, my arm hurts, but we're gonna throw anyways and see what happens. Yeah. It's been a long time. Had a whole lot of energy all over the place. I was honestly nervous because it's been 20 years, but. I settled down and started to hone in there towards the end, struck the last guy out, so I feel like it's going to come back around. And honestly, my arm was feeling better the longer I threw, so got a lot of work to do, but it's feeling good. Well, that's a pretty good weekend there. Lots of fun things going on. As for me, I'm finishing up the uh, evening by icing down the old man arm there with a packet of peas. It works the best, I'm telling you. Make fun of me, but it works the best and we've got medicines and all types of things to rest the arm, make sure everything's better. A great weekend. Make sure that you take advantage of absolutely everything that God has given you because when you do that, you make your life and the people around you's lives even brighter. Be the light. Remember to subscribe and even hit like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for checking in. We'll see you again tomorrow. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, man? You're not gonna be good, I guarantee it. That's what your wife said? Sick of bears. Baylor has a one week orientation for that, too. <laughs> Listen, your mom would really appreciate this. I love you, mom. This is memories for when you get married. This is for your grandkids. Now, come on. Oh, what <laughs> Hello neighbor, welcome to the weekend. It's early still, that's why I'm quite... Who's on my team? Nobody. Does that mean you're over 21? Not even you? 
you're on his team. Have you worked with before? We are one. Are we though? Oh yeah, let's spin the camera now. That's my favorite thing. Yeah, do it crazy. Let's please do that. Yeah. Damn it. Sick em bears. Sick em bears. Is what am I supposed to do with this? Is this gonna like be a part of the outtakes? Cause it's do not. It. It's not good. Hey camera, do it. <laughs> and the anarchists were loud coffee machine noise. Welcome to Bomber Stadium in Bryan, Texas, where the core baseball team, which I'm a member of, is preparing to take on the Texas A&M... Dang. <laughs> take two. <laughs> <laughs>